With record-breaking heat waves sweeping the nation, so many homeowners are looking to take every single measure to get the coldest possible air out of their vents and to prolong the life of their AC unit because no one wants to have their AC unit quit in the middle of summer. So in today's video, we're gonna show you a cheap device that you can install on your AC unit that not only will get you colder air out of the vents, we're gonna prove that, it'll also allow you to have less amp draws on your compressor. So we're gonna do a before and after on both of these and show you that it actually works. Today's video is brought to you by Alpine Home Air, America's number one choice for quality, affordable HVAC equipment and unmatched customer service. And FilterBuy, your one-stop shop for all your replacement HVAC filter needs shipped directly to your door. All right, so here's the AC unit that we're working on. This is about a seven or eight year old Goodman AC unit. And this device is going to be more effective the older your system is, but even on a newer system, you can absolutely install this. And basically to give you an idea of how it works. So right now this is just baking in the sun and a lot of AC units are just like that. They're placed to where the sun is just baking down on it. There's a few things you can do here. You can try and shade that AC unit. That's definitely gonna help. But what we're gonna do is we're going to mist water around the AC unit and that's going to allow the air that's getting pulled in through here and sucked out of the top to be significantly cooler. And that's really gonna help out your AC unit. Not sure if you can see that, but it's currently 98 degrees with a high of 99, really hot out here. And we're gonna do some before and after. First of all, we're gonna see after this unit has been running for about 15 minutes, what temperature we're getting out of the AC vents. And then we're going to check the amp draw and do a kind of before and after on the temperature and the amps. All right, guys, so this unit's been running for about 20 minutes. And the first thing we're gonna do is check the amp draw initially. So when we look right here, we can see our compressor. That's this square guy right here. And the run terminal is the one that we're gonna check. So it's this R terminal. And as you can see, it goes up to the red wire to the contactor. So we're gonna take our amp meter and go to this red wire that goes into the case here. Make sure we have a good clamp reading there. Now this will change as the compressor ramps up and down with the thermal expansion valve. We'll see what it goes up to here. About 9.6 amps was on the high end and then this should go down a little bit. 8.6. And then as that TXV re-engages, you notice the compressor works a little bit harder there. So about 9.6 amps is our base reading. Okay, so for our base reading on our temperature at the supply vents, we're at 76 return air temperature. Okay, so at our supply vents, you can see we've got 60 degrees. So we're at about 16 degrees. So uh, we'd like to be between 17 and 20 degrees. So after we install this device, if we're any below 60 degrees, then we'll prove that this device does work. I've been holding this here for about five minutes now and we're just hovering at 60 degrees. So let's see what we can get out of these supply vents. All right, so this is the kit that you'll get from Cool and Save. So we have a filter, we have these three lines that go on the side of the unit, and we have our spool that goes to your garden hose or your hose spigot, and then we also have this paddle. This is the main component, and basically what it does is it just sticks right here, and anytime the condenser fan comes on, it allows water to then circulate and mist this whole area. So one thing that's important is to just kind of go around and see where the most air is because some units will push a lot of air out of one particular area and not another. This one seems pretty even. So I think we can mount this just about anywhere and we'll be totally fine. The other thing to note is that we have three outlets here. So ideally, if you can, I would suggest pushing it this way and then we'll have our one arm going this way one this way and one this way. So let's go ahead and stick it on there. Super easy. You just take this adhesive off, stick it on. Give it a little bit of pressure to make sure that it's stuck really good. And that's it for the first step. The next step is we're just gonna take these three hoses out. 
as well as our three nozzles here. And we're just gonna thread these on like so. Super basic there. It comes with an extra nozzle in case you lose one of them and we're ready to attach. Now, one thing you'll notice is that on the inside of these, there's a piece of wire. And the purpose of that wire is just to give this structure. And we'll show you exactly why that's important in just a second. Okay, so depending on the size of your unit, you're gonna want this to be about middly placed right here so that it misses this whole middle area. You don't want it too high or too low. So we're just gonna take this, put it where we want it, and then we're gonna make a bend right here. And that's the purpose of that wire is to keep this bent exactly how we want it. So it's super easy and user friendly in terms of setting this up. And next, what we're gonna do is just measure this to make sure that we're not sticking out too far. And it's just gonna go in about a quarter inch. So we're gonna cut this right here. And then this next part is really easy. We're just gonna slip it in. It's just a push lock, that's all you have to do, and you're set up. Now additionally, you can take a zip tie and put it right here just to secure it, but otherwise you just kind of form these and they just kind of miss this area. It doesn't have to be exact, but it does its job. So we're gonna repeat that process on the other two. And there you go, guys. That's your standard cool and save kit. Now, additionally, if you purchase through my link that I'll put at the video description, you will also get this expansion kit. This will allow you to have multiple heads going around various parts of the unit, and that's gonna allow you to get more cold air into the condenser. So we'll show you how to put this on as well. And uh, But if you buy the, the kit for 119, it just comes with these three nozzles and this will absolutely help. So before we put on the expansion kit, we're gonna do our same test once we get this running and show you the results. Now, a really important part of the cool and save is this right here. This is an anti-scale inline filter. Really easy to install, but this will prevent you from getting super hard calcium buildup on your unit. In certain areas where um, hard water exists, they actually don't sell this product. So just be mindful of that. And just in case this filter is really good to have, this lasts for a whole season of summer season. So if you're running this multiple seasons, I recommend just getting one of these and popping it in place. And we'll show you how easy this is. So we're just gonna cut our line in the middle here somewhere. All you do is slide it in and it's just a push lock. And then if you ever wanna take this off, you simply push with your fingers and pull it back out. It's that easy. But if you're not pushing, it's not gonna come out. So there we go, it's as easy as that. And then this end, all we're gonna do is go to the blue end. That's how you know that's your water inlet. And that is literally it. It took us about five minutes. All we have to do now is hook this up to our hose spigot and then let's turn on the water and see what we got. All right, we just got our water turned on and looky there, we've got a fine mist going into the unit. And you can see how that this air is being drawn through these coils and out the top. That's why we have air coming out of the top. So that water is naturally going to be pulled right into that coil. Uh, today it's kind of windy out, so that mist is going to be pushed that way. But normally in a non-windy day, um, this will pull it right in. So if that's the case, that's the beauty that you can just move this and you can get that mist exactly where you need it you can see it hitting the coils and immediately evaporating. This is basically like turning your AC unit into a, a evaporative cooler, like a swamp cooler that we have out here in the West. You can see how fast that evaporated, but what it's doing is it's allowing this coil to get cool and that's allowing your compressor to use less amps to get colder air because it's able to pull, extract more heat this is cooling off the coils and allowing it to pull more heat out of these coils. Because normally these are really hot and that's why you always feel really hot air out of the uh, top of your condenser. A lot of AC techs will go out and just feel the top 
if it feels not so warm, you know you have an issue, but if you feel warm air, that means this, this refrigeration system is doing its job. But this is just allowing it to do it more efficiently. And so we're gonna let this run for about 20 more minutes. We're gonna come back, check our amp draws, and then our supply temperature. All right, guys, so we've had our cool and save on here for about 20 minutes now, and we're on the same exact red wire here, and notice the difference. So the compressor is changing again. We noticed that not even getting up to nine amps this time. So we have significantly dropped this by basically about one whole amp, which is a pretty substantial amount when you think about it. Um, so really impressive with the cool and save. This thing really does work and uh, really impressed with this product. Let's go inside and check out our supply vents. All right, check it out guys. We've got 57 degrees coming out of the vents. So that is at least a three degree temperature difference. And that can make all the difference in the world when it's super hot, 100 degrees outside. So I would say that this was a great success and that it does lower the temperature at your vents 100%. Okay, so this is how the expansion kit works. So you just install, you just remove one of these arms and I can actually show you how easy this is to do even with the unit running. And then you can get water back here if you want, if you have something that's not gonna get damaged by the water. Um, you can put a head here and right here we've put a head right in the corner just to get more water to this condenser coil. So pretty much all I'm going to do is take this piece out that came with the expansion kit and then I'm going to push this down so no water comes out and just wiggle this out. This takes a little bit to get it out completely just like that and then we're gonna put in our new piece. There we go. And we'll put our existing head into that fitting there. And then we'll put the new one right here. So now we can let off and make our adjustments. So what I'll do here is put this in the back. Just kind of form that how you want it. That's perfect right there. And then while holding this in place, you'll have to tweak it a little bit to get it just in the right place, just like that. And then again, you can use zip ties to secure these to make sure that the wind doesn't push it around. And basically that's the expansion kit. We still have one arm that we could put on on that side, put another head there, and that really gets a ton of water to the unit. Now, something that a lot of people say is, you're gonna use more water than energy that you're saving by putting this on, and that's completely not true. Like, this is not a ton of water that it's misting out, but because how it's pushing it out, it's very effective. So you're not gonna use more water than it is saving. And then here's the other thing, every time the unit kicks off, your water stops. So it's not like this is just gonna to continue to run and run and shoot water out. This is only when the condenser fan is running. Well guys, whether you're limping your system along and trying to not have to purchase a whole new system, or you have a newer system and you just wanna get a little bit cooler air, the Cool and Save can be an awesome solution for you. You saw how easy it was to install. You saw the amp draw difference and the supply temperature difference. So the proof is in the pudding and I think this is an awesome invention. If you wanna get a free expansion kit, make sure and use the link in the video description to purchase your Cool and Save. Now, if you wanna see some other things you can do to get cooler air out of your vents in this burning up heat, check out this video right here and we'll see you on the next one. Later.